Assalamu alaikum. Each time I write insha'Allah in English, people comment saying you must separate these three words in sha'a Allah and you must not write it together because it has a bad meaning. It means create Allah and someone said this and someone said that and it's wrong and you cannot. Okay, let me explain. It's not like we don't know how to spell it. If you are writing insha'Allah, which means if Allah wills, okay, in the Arabic language, if you're writing it in the Arabic language, the correct way of writing it is three separate words, in sha'a Allah. So in sha'a Allah. And when you're saying it, you say in Allah. Okay, so I'm writing it in the Arabic language. The correct way of writing it is three separate words. In Sha Allah in the Arabic language. In any other language, if I am saying if Allah wills in English, I should write I F space A double L A H space W I L L S. That's if Allah wills. Those are three separate words. But if I am doing what is known as a transliteration, which means it's Arabic, but I'm just writing it in another language for people to read it, I can write it anyhow, anyhow, completely for as long as it is uh, readable to the people, legible, they can see it, they can read it. If you look at, you know, the Malay language, they write in Sia Allah, the S-Y-A. They pronounce it, they pronounce the S-Y the way we pronounce S-H. So they can write it how they want for as long as when people read it, they read it Insha'Allah, because a transliteration means nothing. It just, it is only making you read something. For example, I, I write Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. How should you write it? Come on, don't get into such a silly argument. You can write B I S M. You don't need to write B space I S M space A L L A H space. You just write B-I-S-M-I-L-L-A-H, Bismillah, it's okay. You don't need to separate it because it's just a translation, sorry, a transliteration. But if you are writing it in the Arabic language, you will need to write the Basin Mim space Allah space Ar-Rahman space Ar-Rahim because that's the Arabic and that's how it should be written, okay? So I hope we don't argue with each other. Whenever you see it in the English language, please write it how you wish for as long as it's closest to what is readable, for as long as it's closest to what you can actually, you know, pronounce in the correct way. Some people write I-N-S-Y-A-L-L-A-H because they speak Malay. That's fine. You know, others might say, why did you put a Y? Because that's how they pronounce it. You know, I came across the name Khadija. In Turkish, some people spell it H-A-T-I-C-E. I would say Hatis for that. No, it's actually Khadija. In Turkish, that's the way they write it. So what? Subhanallah, let them write it that way. There is no one correct way of writing things. When people ask me, what's the best way to write this name I want to name my child? So I would give them what I think is the best, but that's not what the whole world thinks is the best. But in the Arabic language, there's only one way of doing it because it's an Arabic name or an Arabic word or an Arabic sentence. So now people say, well, if you write it all in one, then it has a meaning create Allah. You know, that's wrong. It doesn't have a meaning create Allah. No, it doesn't. Because inshallah means if Allah wills, inshallah. We all say it together, inshallah, inshallah. But we know in the Arabic, it's three separate words. If Allah wills, right. How do you say create Allah, astaghfirullah? You would say inshi, inshi. Inshi is the amr, it is the instruction, right? The command, inshi means to create. No one says inshi Allah. They say inshallah, that's what it is. So I think we needed to correct this, but if you disagree with me, no problem. This is what I know and I will stick by it. Unless you've proven me wrong, subhanallah. Uh, as far as I know, you know, when it comes to sarf in the Arabic language, if you know a little bit of Arabic, it comes from ansha ayunshi'u and the amr is inshi. Thank you very much. It's not insha. okay? So may Allah make it easy for all of us. I think we should stop arguing about these things. And please, if you're writing it in Arabic, try and write it three separate words 
And if you've written insha'a in one and Allah the next, although it's a mistake, but everyone knows what it means. It, linguistically, it may be wrong, but it's not like kufr or something. Okay, uh, scholars have spoken about it to say if someone writes it this way, well, it's, no, uh, it's, it's not kufr and it's not something that's a serious blunder, a major sin or something. It's not even a minor sin. It's just, it's just not the best way or the most correct way of writing it from the rules of the Arabic language. But if you are writing it in another language, transliterating it from the Arabic, please write it however you feel. Uh, it would be uh, readable uh, most accurately. May Allah make it easy. I spell it one word. I-N-S-H-A and then a capital A-L-L-A-H all in one. So insha Allah. That's how I write it. And I know it means if Allah wills. May Allah bless you all. I hope we've nailed a little nail on that coffin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. I remember yesterday saying we don't use coffins, we use kefen. So inshallah, I hope we've enshrouded this matter in a beautiful way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.